Well, it's a good thing we went my car. <sighs> it's chilly outside today. <laughs> Daddy, what's going on? Are we shrinking? No, the car is growing. I can't reach the steering wheel anymore. Quickly, Morpho, morph into a plane. Morpho, you have to put it to a stop. Morph into a giant car yourself. Like we're not done yet. going to be just fine, Phoebe. Drink some tea and keep warm. Your cold will be over in a couple of days. Hmm. What? Out of the way, everybody! Everybody, out of the way! Look out! Oh, no! It's heading for the water! Oh, no! My truck! Quickly, Morpho! Morph into a giant tow truck! Oh, thank you, Morpho! Ah, you've saved my ice cream! Hi, Mila! What are you all doing here? And why is that car so big? I'm afraid you did that, Phoebe. Every time you sneeze, you used your magic. <gasps> oh, no. But no worries. Nothing bad happened. Let's go zap everything back to normal. Morpho, morph into a rocket. could use a treat after this adventure. And I have a lot of ice cream. Ah! Morphle, would you get it for me? Morphle, morph into a giant digger. Oh, no. I'm late for the official start of the election of mayor. Morpho, morph into a car. Oh, thank you, Mila and Morpho. 
With this sapper that we stole from Professor Rashid, we can sap anyone into a deep sleep. Huh? And with the mayor asleep, no one can stop us from winning the elections. <laughs> oh, no. We are helping mayor. Hmm. I have an idea. This chain of office will be given to the next mayor. And just like every year, the only candidate is the mayor. But where is he? We will be the new mayors. The mayor bandits. Get it time? <sighs> when we become the new mayors, we promise free video games for everyone. <laughs> Wait. Huh? <laughs> Me, the mayor. When I become the new mayor again, I promise everyone gets ice cream. Running a great campaign, Mr. Mayor. Cleaner beaches are exactly what this city needs. Huh? What's that? We will really clean up the beaches. <laughs> Was amazing, Mr. Mayor. Wow, the mayor is planting more trees. This is exactly what the people want. We will cut down his new trees. Yeah, with these giant scissors. <laughs> Saved us once again, Mr. Mayor. And the elections are this afternoon. The winner of the election and the city's new mayor is... The Mayor! My livelihood caught on fire! <laughs> Morphle! Morph into a fire truck! Oh, thank you so much, Milan Morphle! I have no clue how that fire started. What's that sound? Oh, no! The cornfield caught on fire, too. It's popcorn everywhere. Oh. What on earth is causing all these fires? Look, it's a dragon. It caught the flu, and it's sneezing. Fire. And it's heading for the city.
the hospital. Dr. Abraham, there's a sick dragon in the city. Oh, no. Hey there, big fella. <laughs> I've got some medicine for you. This is the most extraordinary school presentation I've ever seen. But you still haven't told us what it's about. It's about the animals of the jungle. Wow! wow. wow. <laughs> The monkey. <gasps> Hello there. Do you want to come out and play too? <laughs> oh no! Morpho, morph into a tiger too. <laughs> wow! Whew. Thank you, Morpho. That was close. This is the end 
of my presentation. We've learned that the animals of the jungle are fun, but sometimes they can also be a little bit scary. Mila, this was the most interesting school presentation I have ever seen. An A+. Plus. <laughs> oh, no. I lost my glasses. Don't worry, Daddy. Just remember where you had them last. Hmm. Yeah, good idea. Maybe I lost them when we went to the North Pole to find the Jolly Fan. <laughs> yeah. Morpho loved the Jolly Fan because he makes ice cream. Ah, yes. Now I remember. I slipped on a banana split and lost my glasses. But the Jolly Fin caught them, remember? Oh, yeah. That's right. So where did he go next? Maybe I lost them while we were bringing Papa Jungle to its new human companion in the desert this morning. Oh, yeah! Now I remember. That jungle monkey stole my glasses. We have to go back to the desert and find them. into a monkey, too, and gave it back. Oh, yeah, I remember. Hmm. So you didn't lose your glasses in the desert. Where else could you have lost them? Next, we had to catch the escaped magic pet, Chuckles. His magic power is that he makes people laugh uncontrollably. Chuckles made me laugh so hard, my glasses fell off. Yep, but I caught them and gave them back. Ah, yeah. You're right. Do you remember what you did after that, Daddy? After that, I came home and sat down. <laughs> you were sitting on them the whole time, Daddy. <laughs> You're right. Yes. Uh, much better. Okay, Morpho. It's story time. Upon a time, there was a mama duck whose eggs were about to hatch. When they did, little baby ducks came out. All of them were super cute and fluffy, except for one of the ducklings. It was different because it was big and red, and it didn't have any feathers. And instead of quacking, it sounded like this. I is a duckling! It wanted to play with its brothers and sisters, but they said it was ugly and they made fun of it. Mm. Yes, the brothers and sisters of the duckling were really mean. It made the duckling very sad. So sad that it flew off to play by itself. And when
when it was there by itself, all sad, all of a sudden, a giant dinosaur appeared. It chased the little duckling around. The little duckling flew for its life. There were big dinosaurs everywhere. Then it flew into the claws of a giant flying dinosaur called the pterodactyl. The little duckling was sure that the pterodactyl was about to eat it. But it didn't. Do you know why? No, Muffle, no, no. Because it was the duckling's real mother. You see, the duckling wasn't really a duckling. When it was just an egg, it accidentally rolled into the duckling's nest. The duckling grew larger and larger until it was just as big as its mommy. The end. Daniel Duckling, go see a brothers and sisters. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. So, the Dino Duckling went back to visit its mean brothers and sisters. And they were bullying a new duckling because it had big feet. Yeah, and the dino duckling roared really loudly and it chased away its mean brothers and sisters. They lived happily ever after. The end. I'm the strongest superhero. I can easily lift up this car. Wonderful. Let's help him out. He only wants to play. He won't bite. Get that thing out of here. Leave that woman alone, mister. <laughs> Whatever. Thank you very much, superheroes. Who can I thank for this? What are your names? I'm... We can't tell you. We are the Masked Superheroes, and we have secret identities. Give back those awards! But I never got any awards in high school. <laughs> yeah, now I am officially the number one ballet dancer. Okay, okay. Here are the awards back. No, no. You can keep that one. It says... <laughs> best at getting caught. We are champions, Stein. Yeah! <laughs> we are standing here with the people that saved all the city's awards. We have one question for you. Who are you? We can't tell you. We are the masked superheroes, and we have secret... I'm Troy. I'm April. Morpho. Oh. Look.
Look, kids, a dolphin. How could a field trip to the ocean get any better than this? Morphle, morph into a buzz that can dive underwater. Look over there. It's a school of fish. Oh, and over there, jellyfish. And a whale. And, uh, <clears throat> well, hello, miss. No, wait, miss. Ah, a shark. We need to get out of here. Move around it, Morphle. Oh, my! This place is dangerous. We should go back. Oh, no. It's the sea giant. Who are you calling a sea giant, you tiny little man? I am Neptune, king of the sea. Hi, Neptune. We're on an underwater school trip. We were having a lot of fun until a shark showed up. Oh, that guy? He's not so scary. <laughs> but he's gone now. So let me help you by making this the best school trip ever. Is that safe? Safe as can be. Go ahead. Okay, here I come. <laughs> oh, thank you, Neptune, for making this trip the best. Yes, unforgettable. My pleasure. Come visit me anytime. Welcome to the Big House Building Contest. These are our contestants. The rules are simple. Build a very nice house from anything you like. Our house is going to be made out of stone. Ours will be made out of cotton candy. <laughs> we are going to make the best sand castle you have ever seen. Get ready, set, Go! Oh no! I forgot to bring cement. Now these bricks won't stay together. We have to help them, Morphle. Morph into a cement truck. Thank you very much, Morphle. Now we stand a chance again. Oh boy, this candy is not sticking together as well as I thought. <laughs> hmm, how do you think we can help them, Morphle? Honey! Yes, let's go get some honey. This is perfect. Mm -hmm. 
Now we finally have time to build our sand castle. Time's almost up, everybody. Oh, no. Wait, Morphle. I have an idea. Three, two, one, and that's it. Let's see what you have made. Ah, very nice. And sturdy. It's beautiful. Oh, and tasty, too. Wow, that's amazing. And so big. You deserve the award. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha you got me there, but you don't have a house, so I can't give you the award. That's okay. We're happy we can help the other team. Then I give this award to you for building such a tasteful house. Thank you very much, but I couldn't have done it without Mila and Morph. And as a reward, you get to eat the house all by yourselves. Yay! 